Welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. This is the top 10 trombone hacks. If you want to get good real quick, stay tuned for this video. Number one would be oil your slide every single day. So in oiling your slide every day, it's gonna make your slide a lot more obviously slippery, smooth, and just that one little fix is gonna make a huge difference. You know, when you're playing fast lines or when you're trying to move around the horn, you gotta be able to make sure you can move around. And like a lot of people, their slides are like so jagged that like they can't even play. So by doing that, like right off the bat, you know, if you're struggling to like hit certain positions and stuff, that's just gonna make a huge difference. So number two, wash your horn regularly. Now, I say this a lot, you know, if you wash your horn regularly, it's gonna make your sound better, believe it or not. If, you, if, you, if you're playing on a horn and you haven't washed your horn in like two or three years, it's gonna sound like crap. Wash your horn regularly, make sure you get all that crap out of the horn, you know, give your horn a bath, whatever you need to do, just throw it through a hose, like wash your horn regularly that'll make a difference in your sound right away number three so take lessons and i know i'm not trying to make this into an ad i'm not trying to just get myself business but i do offer lessons hello so if you need a lesson teacher and you can't find one and you want to do something i offer lessons through skype so let me know but i encourage everyone to take lessons like whether it's through your school or whatever you got going on uh, take lessons, find a lesson teacher. Like I said, if you can't find one, I'm, I'm here to help, but find a lesson teacher. I found that when I started taking lessons from a young, from the youngest age of like sixth grade, my playing automatically went to a different level. So taking lessons and having a teacher who plays your instrument, don't take a trumpet teacher if you're a trombone player or a piano teacher, take a trombone player. That'll make a big difference right away. Number four, listen, listen, listen. And I know I preach this a lot on this channel, but if you're not listening, you're not gonna get better. You gotta listen every day. You gotta be listening to the stuff that you wanna play. So not just classical or not just jazz. If you wanna play pop, if you wanna play R&B, if you wanna play hip hop, listen to those genres. Listen every single day. You should have headphones on every single moment when you're just on the train or on the bus or going to class or whatever you're doing in the car, long trips. Listen, listen, listen. That's a huge, huge way to get better real quickly. And with listening, that comes to the next point, which is number five, transcribe. If you transcribe solos, you're gonna get better. If you're transcribing solos of artists or of other trombone players who can really, really play, it's gonna push you. I found that my playing really got better when I was transcribing a solo a week. So you can do a solo a week, Hey, if you're not on that level yet, do a solo a month. Start off with solos that are easier. If you need a solo that's like a little bit on the beginner level and you don't know of any, send me a DM or a text or whatever and I'll, I'll shoot you some like early transcriptions that you can start transcribing. Um, and then work your way up. And then once you get those down perfectly, then, then move up. Don't try to go transcribe a giant step solo of John Coltrane if you're not ready. So transcribing, huge way to get your playing better real quickly. Number six, jam with people who are better than you. Now this one is really important because if you jam with people who play better than you, they're gonna push you and you're gonna try to compete with them. You're gonna try to play on their level. And by like, if they're here and you're here, the more you play with them, you're gonna start, you're gonna start getting better. That's a huge way to also improve really, really quickly. I found that when I was going to jam sessions and when I was playing with people on the spot and when I was playing with people who were just way better than me, I was getting better because I was picking up things that they were doing and I was like learning from them. So that's even better than lessons in a way because you're just going, it's like immediate. You're playing with people who are way better than you, you're gonna get better. So play with people who are better than you, go to jam sessions, gigs, whatever. However you need to play with people who are better than you, play with people who are better than you. Number seven, and I know I'm gonna sound like a music teacher right now, but please pra practice with a metronome. Practicing with a metronome is a huge way to help your time, and time is very, very important. A lot of people say that I play with great time, and the reason why I play with great time was partly because I practice with a metronome. It really helps you lock down that feel that you're trying to get. So you wanna make sure that you're practicing with a metronome every single day, and you wanna make sure that you're pushing yourself and raising the tempo off a click as needed. Practicing with a metronome will help your playing and it will help you get better. Number eight, record yourself. If you've never recorded yourself before, you will be shocked. I did this once and I was shocked and it really, really helped my playing. 
especially when I was in like 7th, 8th, ninth grade. My dad used to record every performance that I would play, and on top of that, I would start to record myself on my phone. And when you do this, you're gonna get really, really good because what happens is, you hear yourself and you try to make these subtle changes on the spot because you hear how poorly you, you articulated notes or how poorly your sound is or all these different things. Record yourself every day or as much as you need to record yourself and you're gonna find that you're gonna get really, really good. Number nine, pick up an Arbenz book and go through a page day. You know, if you don't, if you aren't familiar with the Arbenz book, the Arbenz book is just a book that has a lot of trombone exercises. Every teacher I've had has recommended that book, and they say that every trombone player should own that book. One of the great trombone players, Wycliffe Gordon, who I had the pleasure of studying with when I was in high school, told me that I'd use that book until I was 30, and he's he's right. I'm still using that book today. We still use it here at Berkeley as one of our main books for exercises for all these different types of things. Marshall Jilks, we, we practice out of that book. Any trombone player who you're ever gonna study with is going to recommend that book. So I highly recommend, it's like 40, 50 bucks. This, this video is not sponsored by Arbenz, but I highly recommend pick up an Arbenz book that is really, really going to help your playing. And the 10th trombone hack is to pick up a silent mute. Now these run between like 150 and 160, so they're a little bit expensive. However, if you find that like you're out all day and you, you know it's tough for you to practice, or if you're at the beginning stage and you really don't want anyone hearing what you're playing, if you pick up a silent mute, what's gonna happen is you can put in headphones, you can play through the silent mute, no one can hear it outside, only you can hear what you're playing, and you're gonna find that like you're not worrying about what other people think you're playing because A, you're the only person who can hear it, but B, you can practice all through the night. You can practice at any point in time. You're not gonna, you know, piss off mom and dad. You're not gonna, you know, piss off any siblings or anyone who's living with you. If you have roommates, if you live with a family, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you're gonna find that it's a very, very effective way to get extra practice time in at like obscure times. So if you wanna practice at night, if you wanna practice at 3 a.m., help, help yourself get a, get a silent mute and you'll find that you will get a lot better. Those were the 10 trombone hacks. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. We put out videos every Tuesday and Friday and follow me on Instagram.